Hello everyone, how's everyone going? This is Pittsburgh Sean, and it has been a long time since I made a video, a very long time since I made a video, and basically the story behind that is also a long one, but to make it short, basically another crash. I've had bad luck with, with hard drives, and I think I've finally figured out what I've been doing wrong. I, well, maybe I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. But, but I think I figured it out. And 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 hopefully within a couple months here, I'll be buying a new one that definitely has a lot more memory and RAM to it, and therefore I can do a lot more than what I can do now, so hopefully that's going to be down the road, but but um, I, th I think I figured it out, and I think it deals with RAM and, and space and, and how much I run and, and how much files I have. It's just a theory. I don't know nothing about computers, so correct me if I'm wrong, but, but yeah, another crash I had to replace again. Um, and here I am now making a video after finally doing it. But it hasn't just been that that's kept me away from doing videos. I've also gotten a job. And right now, I mean, it, it's only temporary. I'm, I'm working fast food up in, in the west side of Newcastle um, near the Walmart. Um, for anyone who knows um, Newcastle well, um, I work at the McDonald's near there on State Street. So... Um, chances are um, you've ate my fried products if you've visited that, that McDonald's. Chances are good, but then again, who knows? It depends on when you get there, and, and I'm usually working lunch, but sometimes not, sometimes dinner, so it just, it just, it, it depends, basically. So, I've been very busy working. Um, lately, I've been getting 30-hour work weeks, and 30-hour work weeks is pretty pretty big for me considering I am um, out of shape like I am so yeah I mean it, it, it's pretty tough to get through but but I'm, I'm adjusting well um, um, it's it's not that bad actually it's actually something I'm content with doing because I live at home I really have no expenses except the student loan that's going to kick in in December which I have on deferment but that that'll end and in December I'll be paying it. Um, I've already I already have over a thousand bucks in my bank, probably um, TMI. But but I am quickly accumulating a bank account because I have really no bills to pay. So so three hundred dollars I've just got a raise from seven twenty five to seven fifty an hour. So that that's going to be good. And that'll probably get me fifty more bucks a paycheck. Um, if I continue working 30 hour work weeks, I'm actually getting a pretty good deal. I'm, I'm probably getting about 350 a paycheck after all the taxes are collected and everything. So it's actually it's pretty exciting. And like I said, um, I'm staying in my comfort zone. The McDonald's um, swing managers and the manager are really um, are really aware of that, and they're keeping me in my comfort zone, which is doing, which is basically um, grilling and frying, and I hope to do French fries here soon, and it's, it's actually pretty fun, and makes me think sometimes if, if I could actually own a fry, a, a, like a, like a fried restaurant or something, where, where it'd be nothing pretty much but fried foods, but uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not much, I don't, I mean, I mean, I'm content with it, but I mean, I wouldn't want to do. Um, I I wouldn't want to fry foods as a career. So so hopefully in a year, um, I'll be I'll be out of there and doing something that I actually studied, which is either press releases, newsletters, or newspapers, magazines, and stuff like that. So I, I hope to be doing that in the year. But as of now, I'm content with doing this because it's building a bank account and I'm getting more money and I'm thinking about um, what to do from here, trying to come up with a long-term plan while I do this and make some money. So that's where we're at right now. And yeah, that's pretty much the update. Um, there's not too much else going on except I got a job and another meltdown on my computer, but hopefully, like I said, um, that is taken care of. I'm, as lately, I've been on another computer where I've been 
which doesn't have a webcam, and I've been using that quite a bit, so I can't really make any videos on it. Although I could do some DV stuff, but I'm afraid to upload too much music files because that one's really trashy. Um, it barely it barely works as it is without anything really on it. So I'm trying to keep it fresh and and working as best as possible. So, but I think I'll put some DVEs on there. I'm thinking about ordering my Back in '98 by Bob and Tom. I, um, my dad brought it home from work as a burnt copy, but for some reason, the irresponsible pig I am, I lost it somewhere in my room, and I haven't been able to locate it. So I think I'm just going to go and, and, and order the CD on Amazon for about $15. I think it was at most. I think it's even less than that now, but pretty good deal. So I think I'm going to order that since I'm into my comedy stuff. Okay, and, and as for um, sports, um, what, what can we say? Um, like I said, my boycott of the NFL is standing. I am keeping my word, and I'm going to keep to it. I'm not just being a shock jock like some. I'm going to carry it out. So, so don't expect any football videos from me. I don't trust the NFL at all. Okay, I don't trust it. I don't trust its integrity. And it looks like we have a bunch of thugs running around too, um, especially with Aaron Hernandez. And how about all the arrests that have happened just since the Super Bowl? Stephen A. Smith from First Take brought it up. And it was actually a very good statistic. Um, I, I can't remember the exact number. I wanted to say it's like like 30 some or something so so that's another reason not to watch it the Hernandez thing's tragic um, it's bringing me more down on that institution and I'm still suspicious that the game is rigged by the the NFL itself by the media that broadcasts NFL games I just do not trust the NFL although I might alternate and make some college football videos to replace the NFL videos I'm not going to make. So um, that's that there. Um, as for baseball, um, obviously I am a Braves fan. I like the Atlanta Braves. That'll probably get me assassinated here since I have basically a Pittsburgh audience. But um, I am sure I am, I am here to tell you that I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how good the Pittsburgh Pirates are doing, I must say. And and it I must say, I I don't know if they're gonna make the playoffs because I'm still look I'm still waiting for that collapse that I think is gonna come. I still think there's gonna be some sort of collapse there that's gonna knock them out. Then again I could be wrong. The way they are taking care of the Cardinals I mean, it, it's shocking, really, how, how well they're playing as of now. And they're playing at a high level. And i got to give the Pirates credit. And like I said, it's been 20 years. Um, I like to call it the Sid Bream curse ever since Sid Bream of the Atlanta Braves was ruled safe in the 92 NLCS. Um, the Pirates have had losing season since. I like to call that the curse of Sid Bream, although a couple of friends of mine who are Pirate fans like to call it the curse of Barry Bonds because, because after um, the NLCS, Barry Bonds left and he moved on to play for other teams. I think the San Francisco Giants was 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 the main team he played for. So some like to call it the curse of Barry Bonds, but as a Braves fan, I like to call it the Sid Bream curse. But which which is that the Pirates have had losing seasons ever since Sid Bream was ruled safe at home plate. They have not won or had a winning season since. I think the Sid Bream curse is done. I think it's going to be. I think this. I think the Sid. Sid Bream curse will be lifted. Um, that said, I that said, it is still remains to be seen if they're going to make the postseason or not. But I think they're going to get um, 500 this year or better because it's only going to take 17 games to do that. And they and we still have two months of baseball. If you can't win 17 games in two months, that's that, that's just that's just fucking retarded. And and. Then you just really gotta look at yourself, but I I don't see that happening. I think the Pirates are going to get 500 or better. It's just postseason. I don't know yet. It depends. But as of now, I mean, they're gonna take f at least four out of five to the Cardinals. As I'm recording this video, who knows um, down the road? But yeah, I give the Buckos credit. I really, really do. Um, the Pittsburgh Pirates gotta give this team credit. And 
and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, as for the pens, it is it was sadly another collapse this year. Very disappointing um, to the Boston Bruins. Just the way they lost. I mean, just despicable. The coach should have been fired. I can't believe they brought that guy back. Although there is a there is a contrasting point of view from Ron Cook and others um, here in Pittsburgh that it wasn't his fault, but the players did not produce. But at the same time, the scheme and and everything and and I I blame the coach more for for the scheme of of how they set it up. Um, just pathetic. Um, I. I don't know. It's just it was an just another embarrassment. I know this is months after the fact, but I just thought I'd bring that up since I haven't been making videos in a long time. Um, let's see what else is there. Not too much. Um, not too much going on. Like I said, um, I think it covers it. But like I said, um, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep true to that boycott. I'm going to try to get some more comedy stuff uploaded here in the coming weeks and months. And I'm hoping to get a better computer. Now, I want a MacBook Pro, but I'm not sure if it could do, if it has something compatible to the Windows Media Creator that I use to do these DVE videos. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but um, if I did want to buy another junky PC, I would probably have the funds to do it, but I'm just going to save for now. My birthday's coming up in less than two months, so hooray for me. I'm going to be 25 years old, so I'm just an uh, aging old bat. But what can you do? Not too much you can do about that either. Um, it's, it's actually sad. I feel older than what I am. So that's besides the point. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, this was pretty much a rambling off the topic various video about where I've been, what, what I've been up to, what's been going on in, in the Pittsburgh area. I can't think of much in the news here in Pittsburgh that, that, that really comes to anything. Pittsburgh's a quiet city as of late, so during just, just local news stories, but none of any national news I can think of, except how well the Pirates are doing, and like I said, we'll see if it lasts. Um, for Pittsburgh's sake, I hope so, but like I said, I'm a Braves fan, so I, I root against them if we play in, in the postseason, but, but um, by the way, I think the Braves probably have a lock on, on the division if they can win these next two series is and pretty much knock the Nationals and the Phillies out of commission. Um, if they can do that, then I'd say they pretty much wrap it up. But but they still got to beat those teams. And like I said, but 11 games up on the Nationals, pretty impressive. So there you go. Well, everyone, I think I'll end it here. Like I said, more videos will be coming in, in the near time future, hopefully. Like I said, work and... and working now and and all that's gonna make it tougher i have less free time but you're getting occasional videos still and then and then i'll occasionally make videos on college football to make up for the boycott of the nfl i am carrying out i am not going to stop it so there you go okay everyone take care everyone have a good day have a good night and i hope to talk to you soon until now until later.